Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and let's talk about Uber and their oh-so-it's-not-going-to-happen-anytime-soon automated cars experiment, which they keep expanding it, and the funny thing is they're expanding it before it's ready for prime time. I mean, they're clearly trying to show potential investors that they're on top of this, they've got it all worked out, and it's just not working very well. And the funny thing about today's story is that considering what they have self-imposed upon themselves for these cars this should not have happened in the first place today so what am i talking about well not one but two automated cars were caught running red lights in san francisco which is where my brother lives hello victor i will be visiting you in february yeah so and so two automated cars were caught running red lights Here's, here's a great another great thing. At least one of these instances were, was caught on camera, almost getting into a major accident with other cars. And one of the really funny thing about this, both these cars had human drivers in them to monitor the cars to prevent stuff like this from happening. You know, according to an article, which I will post below, um, Uber's response when question about this is, what is well there were two driver there were drivers in each of the cars and they were supposed to take over for when things like this happen this is human error interesting how they say this is human error um well okay uber let's let, let's just take a look at this for a moment uh let's just look at the situation at hand um the yes you do have humans in the cars Sorry, sorry, I just came out of the shower, as you can just as you can probably tell. You have humans in the cars to to take over for when something unexpected happens. I understand this, the cars are still being tested, they're still being built. But here's the thing the car running the light was not human error. Yes, they should have taken over the car when they ran the red light, but they didn't. And the car is, in theory, supposed to be safe enough and ready enough to not get into these accidents. This isn't a situation where the car was driving and someone suddenly cut it off and it didn't know what to do, which is still a danger, don't get me wrong. This is a situation where the car failed to follow basic traffic instructions. Stopping at a red light is a very, very, very basic um, rule of the road you need to follow. If the cars are not able to tell the difference between a green light and a red light, then I would say that their prospects of actually being feasible are not very good right now. Now, granted, again, people keep pointing out these cars will eventually get better. The technology will rapidly improve. Like a couple years ago, the idea of self-driving cars wasn't even on the radar now it's there um well actually yeah a couple years ago self-driving cars were on the radar self-driving cars have been on the radar for a long time they just didn't know how to do it and now they've come together and they found a basic very very broken way to do it but it kind of works it kind of works assuming everyone else drives the way they're supposed to and it works supposing it doesn't rain or snow or anything and it works if the computer can actually tell the difference between a green light and a red light. So, so, but the funny thing is like in each of these cars, two people have to be in it to maintain it, which seems to be way more than what you need if for just like, say me picking someone up and driving them around. They've got two people in these cars and each of these cars and two cars ran red lights on the same day. Now, I would argue that San Francisco, maybe that's not the best place to be testing these cars out. I know that busy cities like that are typically where a lot of people Uber around, but again, these machines are very new. The technology is new, and there are some crazy drivers in San Francisco, and the roads are a mess. And I, I, I hate driving in San Francisco. I really do. Victor, I really do not know how you can stand it. I digress. Um, I also live near Los Angeles and drive there once in a while, so maybe I shouldn't be talking. <laughs> and 
So you know what? There's a lot that can go wrong in San Francisco with, with an automated vehicle. Maybe not a great place to test it. Maybe test it out in like West Virginia where there's like virtually no cars. Trust me, I was just there. There's no one there. If an automated vehicle gets into an accident, not a lot of people are going to be affected by that. If it runs a red light, whatever. So, yeah, it's just... I, I do not believe in the future of automated vehicles. I mean, it's kind of... I mean, I subscribe to the belief that there's like the five miracles that need to happen for it to become a thing. Uh, one, everyone has to own one. Two, they have, they have to be able to, um, you know, predict, unpre react to unpredictable situations uh you know three yeah it's just there's too much obstacles maybe i'll do a separate rant on that some other day but but the thing is this is not good news for uber i mean uber has right now these automated cars have been making headlines for several reasons you know either the cars are speeding or they've been pulled over and then who gets the ticket they're running red lights some of them are even getting into accidents and uh Again, they're just being tested out. They're not all over the place yet. But, I mean, as one person said, Uber's acting like the fact that they got the cars on the road is some sort of victory in and of itself when you're getting, you're paying for overpriced vehicles that need two people to manufacture them or, and to run them. at the four, And it can't even do the thing that you're buying it for in the first place. These cars cannot drive themselves. Not really. I mean, this just proves it. I mean, Uber shifting the blame to the people who are maintaining the vehicle. I mean, that's one way to shift the blame from the cars, but that doesn't change the fact that if the cars were really that safe and that workable, the humans wouldn't be needed in the first place. It's... Ah. Eh. For the record, I'm not... I'm not terrified of, for, of losing my job right now. I mean, even if Uber figured this thing out in two years, these cars are not going to replace the DoorDash or the Caviar's or the Deliv jobs or anything like that. You know, it's just, they, they just won't. And, you know, once Uber actually finds out how much it costs to maintain these vehicles, um, they'll be gone pretty quickly. So, I mean, right now they're just... <sighs> They're trying to, yes, they're trying to cut off the drivers because the drivers are their biggest expense right now with the bonuses and stuff. But here's the thing. Uber also doesn't have to be that, this dirt cheap either. I mean, do you know how, I, I mean, re retail, perfect example. Do they have to pay employees? Yes. But the cost of paying the employees gets passed to the consumer. It's like they're not going to dip into their own profit margin just to pay the employees. Same thing with Uber. Uber needs to fix this. I am so tired of that little hair staying from my face. Um, it, you know, they want these cars to get rid of the drivers so they don't want to pay them. But the thing is, if they just charge a little bit more, they could pay us. They wouldn't have to be paying for us out of their own pocket. They wouldn't have to be doing these boost guarantees, which um, I've been taking advantage of and they've been great, but I, I know they're not great for them. It's just, so, yeah, I, I guess we're getting a little off topic here, but bottom line, two cars, both self-driving, both having people in them to grab the wheel when something goes wrong, they both ran red lights, and at least one of them was caught on video. Um, as the old joke goes, well, we're off to a good start now, aren't we? I wonder... I wonder how, how many times I've actually done this, this video. Um, if anyone's actually counting, let me know. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that's... So, yeah, these are one of the reasons why I do not believe the autonomy vehicles are anywhere near completion. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I would like to know. Com feel free to comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And Merry Christmas, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one. And 10.
Okay, we've hit 10 minutes. We've hit, we've hit YouTube's new algorithm thing. I can officially stop this now.